Hello, I want to speak about a book from Christina von Dreyen. I think uh, this is the newest book, yes, Not Obeying uh, of Love. Not Obeying because you are in the love, it's a topic of this book, the newest book. If you find this uh, video, you might already know with Christina von Ryan. These are the first books that speak about her life. The first two books from uh, Bernadette von Ryan, the mother of Christina von Ryan. Christina von Ryan was born much too early together with a twin uh, sister, Elena. Elena died and Christina survived also with very difficulty. She had to get artificial food till a long time. Uh, but maybe you know all this and uh, mother wrote this book because she discovered that this child has a sensitivity for the spirits of the earth, remembering the life before life and uh, she started to hear more. Also these ideas were not convenient to her life but she started to write it and this is like the first biography of Christina von Dreyen. The third book, uh, Consciousness Make Freedom, it's about from speeches that Christina started with uh, maybe 16 or 17 to have speeches and uh, I was in St. Gallen, the, the music hall was full of persons listening her talking uh, for hours about her remembering why we are here, what is uh, the purpose of the life, how we got connected again with the God. And uh, then she, the came this book that at the end everything is good. This uh, Christina got somehow a, a vision, she writing in this book, at the end, why she got this consciousness that in the end everything is good. Because, because before coming on earth she saw the earth and she saw light lights from human beings all over the world that uh, are coming together and making a new power that is against the system of blindness, the system of unconsciousness and uh, she saw that there is coming what we call in uh, Christianity the kingdom of God or in New Age the new the change, the big change to the spiritual, uh, spiritual consciousness of more and more people. This book now is something like the ethic of this. Uh, <laughs> it's not a new religion, but it's according to all the religions. You can, you can maybe talk from a new religion because she doesn't speak mainly about the traditions of the religion. She found her own language out from what is going on today, from the computers, from the cars, with the, the system to show you the way and to help you to find another way, the right way. And uh, also with the natural science, she speaks from uh, energies, from levels, from... So, but what she talking about is what I find also in all religions. First of all, that there is a big power, a first being, from that coming everything that is God, or she calls it also the source, and then the second truth is that uh, human beings are 
connected to this source. They are, they are created according to this source, that they can have a connection to it. In Christianity it's said that uh, we are uh, the picture of, created in the picture of God. So in his own uh, order we are able to have a connection to him. In India it's the, the relation from Atman, the soul, and Brahman, the God. Uh, they can be one again and we find it so in all the religion this relation otherwise we could forget the to have a religion <laughs> when we are not uh, created to have a relation to this god and the third truth that is also very important here that there is a, a light on light on light that is uh, guiding us or leading us to the forgetting of this uh, original creating. Uh, we have these traditions in Lucifer who was falling, who wanted to be his ki king himself and tried to uh, mankind to take with him. Uh, uh, it's, this is a very complicated story but it, it's not according to the natural science where we come from the from the animals we are developing to the human being no first uh, the, this human being is a beautiful uh, creation that is uh, put on earth <laughs> like in a christian theory uh, we are uh, thrown out from paradise and have now to work and to die and to be in this circle of life till we get uh, remembering this remembering uh, who we are it can uh, happen through our own experience from other life or from inspiration from our guidance that we got in uh, in the other world or also from the religion we can re be remembered to this origin that we have now so Christina is teaching uh, the what is inside all religion but she teaches it in a new way of 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 words and this is also in this book. There are uh, writings that uh, from speeches, but then uh, mainly uh, questions that were uh, things that are asked to her, and she answers. I think she likes this way of uh, answering to questions because it gives her uh, inspiration. She can listen to her own knowledge and she can uh, talk freely she says from where she got this and this knowledge from where and also she mentioned that she doesn't know about mod she doesn't know a lot about the religious books the bible the bhagavad gita all. she didn't read these books maybe once when she will read it but it helps her to not to get in these systems of religions to find her own language to teach her own uh, inspiration that is according to the modern world and it makes her also somehow unique yeah and what is also in all religion is to come back to god to hear the call to read the book of life to read the the, the 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 revelations the religious books or even to remember maybe what we get in dreams what we get to through you our spiritual uh, team that is a uh, could be a uh, teachers we have a spiritual the angel or uh, also good relation that, that they are already in the dead life but mainly it's the higher self and God who is our inspiration and with this inspiration we are on the way we are on the way to get connected to our heart 
to also to think of a new way uh, what is creation, what is mankind and what is the possibility to create a new world, this old goal of new age and our religion with the kingdom of God. But there is the system of unlight that is uh, still strong and makes us forgetting who we are. The system is strong. We see it also nowadays when the Russia, USA, China, they have their leaders, they have their media, they have their inspirations and people get uh, into a certain view to see the things and here also to view the things and we have the fight of the of the human beings also with weapons very crazy and very heavy so I think uh, this system is still strong that is make, makes us uh, afraid that makes us uh, fanatic to this position or this position but Christina is telling that we should come beyond these positions to be a disciple of love and go the way of love to be connected and to get the new picture of what we are and to work on this so she is secure that in the end everything is will be good this is her vision this was in uh, in, in this book and this vision is strong and it, it is discussed in uh, about it, Christina whether this vision is a little bit a uh, illusion uh, will it come in 10 or 20 years but this is an old problem of all these religion movements they know about what God promised that we should realize a new world a new freedom kingdom and she also is in this uh, vision because maybe really like she wrote here that she saw that it's coming that is a reality also we know from the apocalypse in the end there is the new Jerusalem there is the the, the light that is guiding us there is not any more uh, churches or whatever God himself will be the light so on her own way she teaching these old things but uh, <coughs> Maybe we have to get some patient uh, because she also talks about this that maybe uh, heavy times will come also before this uh, everything will be good and we should uh, try to do our best not to feel better because we feel that we are uh, the child of the light uh, no we are all the childs of the light and uh, we should uh, try to be this in this ethic of the love every day from morning till abend till in the, till the evening in the working place in our political thinking uh, in our seeing the world in our consume con consumations always with a question love and then do what you want this is from Augustinus said the love is the guide uh, how we should uh, realize in the world what I want to say uh, as I am a Protestant pastor now retired and uh, all the time I was searching also in other religion I went to India I uh, read uh, Rudolf Steiner Anthroposophy and get inspirations from the Jakob Lorbeer and now this Christina she's a new phenomenon and instead of talking uh, bad what is not right what uh, she is uh, contradictory to this and this it is not so easy to be uh, today not go on with this uh, mainstream 
thinking of natural science and also politically to be uh, on the right side that is influenced by media. It's not so easy to go through all this to the truth, but we can hope, like Christina saw, that uh, all over the world there are these lights and uh, these lights somehow get connected and they are destroying slowly, slowly this matrix, this power of this uh, system of the unlight. <laughs> we ho can only hope this. And uh, so I only can, uh, together with all you, stay in prayer, in uh, thankfulness, and to be under this light and to know to be under this light of the guidance of God and to give it place in my heart and to go on and I will uh, finish with a small prayer I wrote in my account that all things we singing is a double verse so I try with a singing prayer in a language that is not this is just fantasy language. Hadu Masadira Hadi Mame has Nehadi. Oh, Mame Yahe Ahoe Jada de Mo Java. Je vetna, je ne